we want to take a look at the big picture. We want to look and see how the IT administrator fits in to the picture of the company. What does he really have to do? What is his or her job? And how does Windows Server 2012 play a part? So we want to begin by just looking at this company, a very small company. Here we have the director at the top. And then we have three managers in three different departments sales and marketing, personnel, and purchasing, they all report to the director. And then we have the users, the employees who work within these separate departments, and they report to their managers, who in turn, again, report to the director. And here over on the side, we have the IT data center. This is where you will be working you will report to the director, also to the marketing and sales, personnel, purchasing, and you also have to deal with the users. So you are connected with everyone within the organization. It is your responsibility to provide the necessary computing needs for everyone within the company. How are you going to do that? You're going to do that with some tools. And one of the main tools that you're going to be using is your operating system, Windows Server 2012. By using the operating system, you're going to have a lot of tools available at your disposal. With these tools and features, you're going to be able to create a scalable, secure, and manageable infrastructure for user and resource management. All of these have to be connected together. The users, the computers, the groups, they have to communicate with each other. They have to share data. It's your responsibility to set up the systems using the necessary tools in your Windows Server operating system that will allow you to create users, give them usernames, give them passwords, create computers, join the computers to the domain or network, create groups, and also to create policies that will impact on the users within your organization. For example, let's take a look at the diagram at the bottom of the screen. Here you have an organizational unit. An organizational unit is a container and in a container, you will probably place maybe all the users from a particular department. You might want first to put those users in a group and then put the group in the department. You will also want to create a container for the computers within that department. And let me explain what I mean by that. Let's say that I am working in the finance department. The programs that are installed on the computer in the finance department might not be the programs that I want on the computers in my sales department. Because maybe the finance computers will have the programs that will be running payroll. And we wouldn't want the payroll information available to the sales users. So we need to separate the data. We have to put security or permissions on the data and give each user the necessary files and folders that they need
to do their job. It's also your responsibility to put the necessary permissions on the different files and folders so that everything works as it should within the company. You're going to do all of this with your Windows Server 2012 operating system and one of the major roles that you're going to be using is Active Directory Domain Services. Within Active Directory Domain Services you will see that you'll be able to create your infrastructure, um, users, computers, groups, create your group policies, and organize and manage and maintain your infrastructure. As an administrator, you need to understand the way the different parts of your company work so that you'll be able to manage your infrastructure efficiently. Active Directory Domain Services is as I said before, a very important tool that you're going to be using to organize your company infrastructure and your data. In addition, you're also going to be using Active Directory Domain Services to perform actions such as installing your client machines, installing your servers, configuring your client machines, configuring your servers, updating applications, managing security infrastructure, um, maintaining your operating client operating systems, troubleshooting problems that you may have, and a whole host of things. So as we go through this course, the 7410 chord, you're going to see that you're going to lean heavily on Active Directory Domain Services among other roles and features within the Windows Server 2012 operating system. Thank you for listening.